let's look at task 1c from the 2024 NAT5 admin IT paper. It's telling us here the following message has been received about a new order that was placed today. Create a form showing all fields and enter the details below and then ask to print a copy of the form for supplier 113. So first thing we have to do is to create the form and we can do that through the wizard. So up to create and then we've got here the form wizard up here and the first thing it's asking us to do is what fields do you want on your form? It says in the question create a form showing all fields. So with that in mind I think we need to pull across the, the fields from both the products table and the supplier table. So from the products table to get all fields in one go, the double right arrow will do that quickly. And then we can switch down to the suppliers. And well, we don't need the supplier ID again, but we do need the rest of the information. It is just saying to pull everything across. So that's exactly what I'm going to do like that. Click on next. How do you want to view the data? By default, it's popped up into products. If we look to suppliers, you can see it, it would have a subform. Nothing for you to worry about in that five. Uh, so leaving it just there by products, that will give us everything on the form, um, you know, in the same place as a single form. Click on next. Leave it as column. We can leave it as column. That's fine. What title do you want for your form? Well, actually, if we look down at the question, it does say insert a uh, form header supplier order. So we're going to call it supplier orders. It's in capital letters, so I think we should do the same and just type it in exactly as we've been instructed. Sometimes you have to make up your own sort of title, but this time it's telling us exactly what they want. So there it is there and then click on finish. So here we have all the orders from the products and the supplier tables. You'll see there at the bottom one of 37. We have to create a, a new a new record. It's a new order placed today. So to get a, a new record, I'm just going to go to the very end there, new blank record, and I'm going to click on that. Now we know the supplier is 113. It tells us that. So let's just type in 113 and click down onto item. Now, because 113 supplier ID is associated with a particular supplier, ProWare PLC as it happens, that is why everything has populated for you. You've just typed in 113 and the form knows to bring across all the other information. However, the item is new. It tells us we are typing in the word aprons. That's what's been bought. And then the the saying here, um, the new order. Well, it's got their uh, date last ordered, which might be a little bit confusing. But what date do we put in then? It says um, about the order being placed today. Now, if you were doing this exam on the 1st of May 2024, that's the date they actually mean. I found that a wee bit confusing when I looked at this question, but it was placed today. The exam was on the 1st of May 24, so that is what we have to do. Either you can use the date picker and just go back and find it, double click, or you can just type in manually 01 forward slash 05 forward slash 2024. So that is what they were they were looking for. But I just noticed here at the very end, insert a, mo a motto, in, sorry, insert our motto into the form footer. And if you remember from the introduction and the scenario, the motto is good food for you, sustainable for the planet. So we need to now go into, into the form and uh, insert that uh, logo in there. So to add the motto into the form footer, we have to switch from the view into the form view into design view. So you'll see here there's actually no space for the form footer, but don't worry about that. All you have to do if you're seeing a grey underneath, just take your mouse, take your cursor just under the form footer and just left click and just drag down just to give yourself a little bit more space. So in the form footer, we need to put in um, a label to say good for you, sustainable, sorry, good, good food for you, sustainable for the planet. So in form design, you'll notice up here on the ribbon, we have to go to, now, this is quite interesting, there's a text box 
and there's a label is actually a label we're putting in into the form footer. So left click on the label and then you can sort of draw out, stretch it out to whatever you think and now you've got the wee box ready to put the text in and we can just type in the, um, the, the motto there. And again, it's, it's important that you spell it correctly. There's no point in losing marks for, for a silly wee spelling mistake like that. So there we have it. OK, just before we finish, we'll just check that to make sure that everything looks as it is. And that is what we needed to do. Oh, and it was actually printing off this new record. We're back to the very first record, 101. So if I just type 113 uh, like that. No, in fact, that's interesting because there's 113 is the is the supplier, but this is not the record that we've just put in. So actually a better way to do it is rather than just type in the supplier ID, because this company has bought many, many items, is if you go down to the bottom and you'll see there, we want to get to record the last record, which is 38. Click on that, and that is the actual record that we then need to print off. That record only file and then print. And then if you click on print, you'd have to make sure it's just the selected record, and that would just give you the one. Otherwise, you're going to end up printing off all 38, which I'm, I'm sure your teacher wouldn't be overly happy with. So that's how we, we tackle task 1C.